Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about the Silmarillion. And why am I talking about this? Well, I figured, you know, the they're making the uh, Hobbit into several movies now. I've heard they're making it into, uh, like, first I thought there was going to be two movies, but then I heard they're going to make it into another trilogy. Don't really know how that's going to work. I mean, I was thinking, like, maybe two movies at the most. Like, the first one would be, you know, them heading to the, on their journey to their destination of, of that dragon smog, I think it was. And then they're going to, you know, the second one would be them doing whatever there and then heading back. But, yeah, I don't, I don't really know how that's going to work, but... Anyway, when when the movie comes out, I'll be talking about that, and I'll be talking about the book and so forth. And I and no, I do not plan on talking about the Lord of the Rings trilogy anytime soon in the near future because, well, I don't really think there's any man, woman, or child in this country who doesn't have at least some knowledge given how much of a hit the movies were and how recent they were released. But um, anyway, he said the Silmarillion. <clears throat> Why am I talking about this? Well, essentially this is the, uh, the, the origin story of Middle-earth. Like, this is how it all became, or like, supposedly how Middle-earth came to be, came to exist. Like, there was this godlike thing or called the Iluvator or something I don't know yeah, if I, I'm probably mispronouncing it somebody put the correct pronunciation in the comments please uh, but um, anyway he creates this large uh, bunch of beings called the Eldar I think it was, and they um, have this uh, choir and they like make Middle Earth through a song, through song, and um, one of them is called Melkor, who eventually becomes Morgoth, and he's like the big evil bad guy of the of the whole thing. And um, he's also the guy who trained Sauron in his in the dark arts and so forth. Yeah. <clears throat> And like, think it's a coincidence that Vin Diesel, during his supposed, um, when he was playing Dungeons and Dragons, one of his characters was uh, called Melkor. I don't think so, but um, yeah. The whole thing is like um, formation of Middle Earth, the the origin of the dwarves and the men and the elves and all those other guy and everyone else. And overall, I felt it was a very interesting um what i thought that was really interesting was the um the orcs like how their origins was like they were once elves but then they were like taken and like mutated and so forth and um yeah and anyway um Overall, uh, oh yeah, and, um, one last thing that I'd like to talk about would be in my copy of the Silmarillion, or the one I have. I have this big map of the, um, you probably find it on like Google or Bing or whatever. <clears throat> I always love it when uh, books have maps in them because, I don't know, I just, I just like maps. This is the map of uh, Bellariand and, and the lands to the north. Okay. You know, I thought it was interesting. <clears throat> and, yeah. A anyway, I give this a full, say, 4 out of 5. It, it, it's kind of... Um, parts where it's kind of snore-worthy. But, overall... I found it very very interesting to read. I thought it was very interesting seeing the beginnings of Middle-earth. 
with Melkor becoming Morgoth and, you know, uh, training Sauron with all this other stuff. It was just a very interesting and cool thing. Yeah. Anyway, um, till next time. Uh, see ya.